What's going on guys, Cobber here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install a custom boot logo to your Nintendo Switch console. So first things you'll need obviously is a jailbroken Nintendo Switch, and you will also need these files here which can be downloaded in the video description. So the first thing you'll want to do guys is install Python. So if I double click on this right now, as you can see I've already got this installed to my computer. So what you guys will want to do is install this. There's a possibility that you'll need to restart your computer once it's completed. Once you've done that, guys, come back to this folder. So I'm just going to cancel that and click a yes to cancel. Next, what you want to do is go into the switch logo patcher folder. And as you can see, guys, what you'll want to do is you want to set, for example, if you're only doing one custom logo, what I do is name a folder logo one, an empty folder like so. And then you will also need a image file which needs to be a PNG and it needs to be the size of, bear with me a second. If I go into the details, it needs to be 308 pixels in width and 350 pixels in height. And as you can see, if I go into logo two, this is what I'm going to be setting as my custom boot logo. So the next thing you'll need to do guys is just come up to the address bar here and type in CMD. And this will open this following file here. And now if you open the switch brew instructions for file, as you can see, there is a little text document here. So the first thing you'll got, you guys will want to do is if you're new to doing this is you want to copy this command line and paste it into here like so. Once you've done that, click enter. And if you see something like a new release of pip is available, don't worry about that. That's fine. If you see any errors, then you've got an issue. Try uninstalling Python and reinstalling it again. So the next thing you'll want to do is install Pillow. So if you copy the second command line and paste this into here and click enter, again, you shouldn't see any errors, but if you do see the green writing here where it says the pip needs upgrading, don't worry about that. So what you'll want to do now, guys, is create the custom files for your custom boot logo. So if I go here and copy this line and paste that into here, like so. And as, as I said before, guys, I am going to do logo two. So if I go into the folder here, you can see logo two and the logo two folder. So what I'm going to do is actually change, if I backspace this and change this to logo two, PNG with a capital L because that's how it's named. So like so. And if I delete this here where it says logo one, because this is the folder name. So it is actually spelled capital L O G O and then two like so and click enter. As you can see, guys, it'll just come back down to this command line here. If you get this with no errors, you know that you've done it correctly. So if I close down this CMD window now, and go back into the custom boot logo tutorial folder, head over to the switch logo patch folder and go into logo two. As you can see, all the files have been generated and placed in this folder. So to put this on your Nintendo switch, what you want to do is either plug your SD card in or put um, a USB cable to your Nintendo switch and to your computer and put it into um, mount it, sorry, to your computer. So I'm gonna do that right now. So guys, as you can see, this is now mounted. What you want to do then is head over to the switch folder. Sorry guys, it's not the switch folder. Let me go back. It's the atmosphere folder and the EX EFS patches folder. And as you can see, I've already got logo two in there from testing it previously. So if I go ahead and delete that, head back to here, into here and drag the logo to folder across that is now complete guys that should now be installed on your nintendo switch so what i'm going to do is switch over to my phone camera and show you guys what's going on on the switch peace so guys once you're back over on your switch what you can do is go ahead and click the launch button once you're in hecate and click the atmosphere custom firmware and if you let this load be able to see in a minute that the custom boot logo is now set to the console so just give it two seconds and there you go guys as you can see custom boot logo on your nintendo switch 
if any of you guys need any further help with this you can join our discord support channel the link will be in the description also if you need any help making custom boot logos or the images you need creating just give me a message that's not a problem thanks for watching guys peace